when I first moved to San Diego, California, I decided to move in with a few of my girlfriends. It was the fall of 1983. One of my friends had a garden at her house, but by the time it was November, all that were left were a bunch of jalapeno peppers. It was a beautiful array of colorful jalapeno peppers, but since they were going to go to waste soon with winter around the corner, I decided to collect them all to put them in freezer bags, and once winter got here, they'd make some delicious chili. So I picked all the peppers and brought them into the house. I washed them and set them aside to dry and thought about how to cut them properly. I decided to chop off all the stems first and then vertically cut them to scoop out all the seeds. So there I was chopping away, gutting all the peppers. When I started to feel some tingling on my hands, almost like a burning sensation. So I took a moment, washed my hands, tried to get rid of that feeling. But the burning just kept getting worse and worse. My hands were on fire. Something was not right. This time I tried washing them a little better, used some soap, heavy duty brush to scrub off the burning. I dried my hands, but all I could feel was my hands burning like crazy. I was running out of options. Then I tried just to try a bowl of ice water. Stuck my hands in the ice water and oh, felt so good. It seemed to be working. And after an hour of being bored with my hands in the freezing water, I put some lotion on my hands. Oh, what a terrible idea. My hands just felt even worse. So I stuck them back in the ice water as fast as I could to get rid of that burning. Finally, my friend came home and I asked her what to do. I said, well, you're from California. Do you know what to do when your hands start burning from the peppers? We were trying to figure out what to do, and I asked her to call a nurse to see what they think. By this time, my hands have been in this ice water for three or four hours. They turned so pruney, looked just like raisins. A friend told me the nurse suggested to put meat tenderizer on my hands. I thought that was the silliest idea, but whatever, I'll try it since the nurse told me to. So I put it on my hands and instantly I got the burning sensation back again. It was awful. Threw that idea away and stuck my hands back in ice cold water. I was dealing with this all day, so I was exhausted. I wanted to sleep. I set up my bed with a bowl of ice water on the headboard and laid on my back and stuck my hands in the ice and I was able to clonk out no problem. Around 12.30, 1 in the morning, it felt like the burning had stopped so I took my hands out and the burning came back so I just stuck my hands back in the water as fast as I could and fell asleep again. Finally, in the morning, the burning was completely over with. If I ever try to cut peppers again, there's no way I'm doing it without gloves.